Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I thought I'd give you the ultimate guide to Cambridge jargon and traditions because there's so many random words that we just use in Cambridge and so many weird little quirky traditions. I don't want you guys to be left out, I want you guys to get with the lingo, understand what us Cambridge students are going on about in my vlogs when we say things like supo and dos and not just be a bit confused. So yeah, without further ado, here is my guide to Cambridge jargon and traditions. Starting with the first big thing is that Cambridge has a collegiate system. So basically the university is made up of lots of different colleges. So I'm a member of Jesus College, but I'm also a member of the University of Cambridge because Jesus College is part of the University of Cambridge and everyone at the different colleges all studies the same course for their particular subject. Next big thing is the Cambridge bubble, a semi-permeable construct that neatly separates Cambridge and the real world. Life in Cambridge is so busy, there's always something to do, you're always bustling around, you just forget about everything going on outside to be honest. It's actually a lot of fun to be in the Cambridge bubble. I must say. The College of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St John the Evangelist and the Glorious Virgin St Radigund near Cambridge means Jesus College because my college isn't actually called Jesus College it's just called Jesus by everyone because the chapel is Jesus Chapel but its true name now you know is the College of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St John the Evangelist and the Glorious Virgin St Radigund near Cambridge. I don't know it off by heart yet but I will have learned it off by heart by the end of my time at Jesus don't you worry. A CAM card is an access card that every member of the university has for their accommodation, the department that they work or study in. Also I can put money on it and pay for my meals at the Jesus College cafeteria using my CAM card. It's basically your membership card of the university. Gowns. It's pretty self-explanatory what they are. We wear them regularly throughout the year. It's not like other universities where you only wear academic dress for when you graduate. Every college has its own gown as well, so the designs slightly differ between colleges. A pitch is your pigeonhole where all your mail gets put in a room in college. Stash is college branded clothing and stash is usually in the college colours as well, so every college has different shields and different colours. For Jesus College we have the rooster as our symbol and we have red and black as our college colours so our stash always looks really really cool. Matriculation is when you become a member of the university. It's not that exciting for me it just involved signing a register saying that I was a member of Jesus College for life. Your college family is a system they have in Cambridge where when you arrive at the college in your first year you get assigned two students who are in the year above you and they typically study the same subject as you. They are your college parents and they look out for you in your time at Cambridge and then also in your first year you get college married so someone will college propose to you. When you reach second year you get assigned children with your new college partner and it continues and so you get college grandparents, college aunties, college uncles, you get the whole extended family going. Some people take it more seriously than others but I think it's a great system. A blue is anyone who's competed for the university against Oxford in their sport or game. Not gonna lie, I don't think I'm ever going to become a blue. I don't have much sporting talent, sad as it is but Hey ho. Cuppers is any intercollegiate sporting competition. So there are lots of sports societies within colleges at Cambridge. So there's the football club, rugby club, netball club, list goes on and they'll all compete against other colleges. A supo, also known as a supervision, is a small group teaching session with an academic in your subject and yeah it's basically one of the selling points of Cambridge and Oxford that they have these small group teaching sessions as part of their teaching system. Tripos are the formal university examinations that we sit to obtain our undergraduate degree. If someone gets deaned it means they're called in to see the dean of the college when they've done something wrong, they've broken a college rule and they get given the appropriate punishment. I have never actually met the Dean in person because I'm a very good member of college and I would never break any college rules. Okay, moving on to people around Cambridge. 
So a DOS is a director of studies and they oversee your studies each year. They organise your supervisions for you and they'll check in with you at the start and end of terms and you can go see them if you have any academic issues or any other welfare issues as well really. A college fellow is someone with an academic post in college and they're very important people. A bedder is a member of college cleaning staff. We don't really use this term at Jesus College but I know they use this term at a lot of other colleges. They don't actually make your beds though, like they'll empty your bins for you, they'll clean communal areas, they'll clean your bathrooms for you, but they don't make your beds. But I feel like the name Bedder comes from when they did used to make students' beds. Back in the day, I think they did, but they don't anymore. A Jesuit is a student at Jesus College Cambridge, so I'm a Jesuit. A demonstrator is anyone who supervises practical classes for the university. They're typically PhD students. They are very, very helpful because I always need help in labs. A fresher is a student in their first year at university. This is a widely used term across all universities. The master is the head of the college. Every college has a master. They live in the master's lodge. Okay, let's move on to places around college and in Cambridge. The jip is the kitchen in student accommodation. So my staircase that I live in with my friends has a jip. I looked up why it was called jip because I actually didn't know. But apparently it comes from when back in the olden days, it was where a jip, the cleaner, awaited a call from his gentleman and so the room just became known as a jip. Plodge is the porter's lodge, and again, every college has a porter's lodge. It's where the porters hang out. They're very, very helpful, the porters, I must say. And you go there to collect parcels, you sign in and out of college there, and it's a general help point at college, really. And it's where visitors go as well when they arrive. It's right at the entrance of college. CAF is the Jesus College cafeteria and it's where you can have informal meals at lunchtime and at dinner time. The Roost is the Jesus College Cafe. It's also J Bar. It turns into a bar at night. J Bar stands for Jesus Bar. It's basically the best college bar and cafe going, in my opinion. The Chimney is the long passage that's at the entrance to Jesus College and it leads from Jesus Lane to the Jesus College Porter's Lodge. The Cavendish is the University Physics Department and it's where I go for my physics labs and also some of my physics supervisions. Parker's Peace, Jesus Green, Christ Pieces and the Midsummer Common are community parks around Cambridge that I'll usually pass through at least once a week to get to lectures, to get to the boathouse, just when I'm going about my day-to-day -day business really. West Cambridge is a site in the west of Cambridge, funnily enough, where a lot of the university science departments are located. The JCR is the junior combination room, basically the common room in college for undergraduate students. There's lots of sofas in there and a TV as well. The JCR can also refer to a college student union. However, at Jesus, we call it the JCSU, which means Jesus College Student Union. But I know at other colleges, they just call them JCR. Now, let's talk about the Cambridge calendar. So for starters, Cambridge weeks run from Thursday to Wednesday, which is a bit weird because most weeks just run from a Monday to Sunday and that's that. But no, Cambridge has to be a bit weird. To be honest with you, I really don't know why. Like the weekend is in the middle of the week. It just doesn't go with the name. The weekend should be at the end of the week. Michaelmas, Lent and Easter are the three terms in the Cambridge academic year. Each term is eight weeks long. Michaelmas is from October to December, Lent term is from January to March and Easter term is from 
after Easter to June. Bridgemas is the Cambridge student celebration of Christmas. It's on the 25th of November, one month before Christmas. Sea Sunday is an event that takes place on Jesus Green at the start of Easter term, exam term, and it's like the final hurrah for all students and the last party before everyone spends their life in the library preparing for exams. May week is a week after exams end. It's actually in June despite the fact it's called May week we celebrate the end of exams there's lots of things going on May balls occur these are big fancy formal affairs everyone gets dressed up May balls are honestly the highlight of the year it's where Cambridge does actually go a little bit over the top but it's so much fun May week used to be before exams started so it used to actually be in May which is where it got its name May week but then May Week got moved however many years ago to after exams finished. So it was in June, but it just kept the same name. So now we have May Week in June. Let's talk about people who study different subjects. So a Natsuki is someone who studies natural sciences. So I am a Natsuki. A Mathmo is someone who studies maths. A Komsky is someone who studies computer science and an Engling is someone who studies English. Engling, Engling, I don't actually know how to pronounce that. Moving on to the social side of things, a formal is a formal dinner and all colleges have them. They're held in the college hall and they're a three course meal. Everyone gets dressed up. You have to put your gowns on. Different colleges have different traditions for formals. At Jesus, a gong is sounded at the start of formal and everyone has to stand up and then the college fellows will walk in and take their seats at the high table and then Latin grace is read and then everyone sits down and enjoys their meal. Then there's very strict rules so we're not allowed our phones out at all, no drinking games are allowed and basically we're not allowed to be too rowdy because we have to be respectful of the college fellows. At the end of the meal the gong is sounded again everyone stands up again and the college fellows leave the hall. The last fellow to leave the hall has to turn around and bow to all the students and then we all applaud them and cheer for them and it's quite a fun tradition. And if they don't bow, I think we're supposed to be allowed to throw food at them or something like that. <laughs> so, I mean, I haven't ever seen them not bow, so. A swap is a social event between two societies, typically from two different colleges, and you'll usually go to a restaurant. It's really, really informal. You'll have a small meal and get to know other people. A bop is a party hosted in college. It's kind of a mix between a fancy dress party and a disco. Pennying. So, Cambridge is really, really tame when it comes to a drinking culture. There's not much pressure to drink at all, but we do have some drinking games. If someone puts a penny in your drink, you have to down your drink. Engineers pennies are also something to be aware of. These are pennies that have been bent by a vice so that they can fit in the top of a wine bottle. And if someone puts an engineer penny in your wine bottle, you technically have to down the wine bottle. So I'd recommend steering clear of those at all costs. We also have a game of five pennying where if a five penny is put in your dessert, you have to eat your dessert at formal with no hands. Luckily, I have never been five pennied and I think if I was five pennied, I would refuse to do it. Cindy's, Lola's, Life and Fez are all clubs in Cambridge. They're not all the official names of the clubs. Like Cindy's is actually called Bilar, Life is actually called vinyl but everyone knows them by the old names. Danger Spoons is the Cambridge weather spoons on a Saturday night when it turns into a club. There's a DJ and a dance floor and it's free entry so what's not to like? The Van of Life is a fast food van in the Market Square in Cambridge where everyone goes for food after a night out. The cheesy chips are so good and I love the chicken quesadillas from there. Punting is a popular Cambridge pastime. Basically, a punt is a long, flat-bottomed boat. You get a pole and you kind of stand at the end of the boat and propel yourself along the river using this pole. It's much harder than it looks, can I just say. Like, it's really hard to go in a straight line. <laughs> it's more tourists that go punting rather than the actual students, though. Like, Cambridge students might go punting once or twice a year, but the tourists go all the time. 
It's because the river runs past all the old college buildings, so it's quite a good sightseeing activity. Okay, so colleges. Some of the colleges have names that are shortened. Emma is Emmanuel College, Fitz is Fitzwilliam College, Tit Hall is Trinity Hall College, Medwards is Murray Edwards College, Sydney is Sydney Sussex College, Keys is Gonville and Keys College, and Katz is St Catherine's College. And finally, some rowing terms because I am involved in my college boat club. A boaty is someone who rows or coxes. The River Cam is the river that flows through Cambridge. It's quite a narrow river, it's got quite a lot of bends in it. Bumps is a set of rowing races that takes place twice a year in Cambridge. The competing boats line up along the river at fixed distances apart. Everyone starts rowing at the same time and you have to try and bump into the boat in front of you before the boat behind you bumps into you. It's pretty dangerous in my opinion, but it's actually a lot of fun and it's the highlight of the boaty calendar. BCD stands for Boat Club Dinner and that's it. I hope I've caught you up with the lingo now. Do comment down below your fave new piece of lingo. Thank you very much for watching. Please do give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more videos from me. I would love if you could follow me over on my Instagram as well. I'm posting really regularly at the moment and you can keep up to date with my life at Cambridge and also my life in the holidays as well while I'm studying at home. My Instagram username is at underscore page underscore y so I'd really appreciate if you could give it a follow. A link will be in the description and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!